So I feel like I've recorded this video so many times. And after this time, I'm just going to go with whatever happens. So today's video was a story time. Because in my last video, I asked what you guys wanted to see. And there were a few people who said, do a story time video. So I'm doing one. And this is a collab with Anya here on YouTube. And I'm sorry if there's a horrible glare in my glasses because I have to use this light because it's nighttime and all day it's been foggy and rainy and like I just there was no other way for me to record this video but like I said this is a collab with Anya here on YouTube and she has an awesome channel and she's super funny and I actually really like her videos so you guys should go check her out if you haven't seen her channel before and go subscribe to her also if you're new here from Anya's channel I'm Janae and this is my channel, Us Two Twins, that I do with my sister as well. If you want to see some of her videos, you can go check those out. And you should definitely hit the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos, which I decided will be on Fridays at 3 o'clock because it just makes the most sense for me and just my channel in general. So yeah, look for videos every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And if I'm wrong, I will put it in the video because, like, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to get into my story time video, which is going to be about the time I was embarrassed on the playground at school in the sixth grade. And you're probably wondering, why were you even on the playground in the sixth grade? But I will explain that when I get deeper into the story. So, we're going to start out by saying, in the sixth grade this year, I don't remember the year, we had this big swarm of cicadas, which we get every 17 years because I'm pretty sure they come out to mate then they all die and then you get them another 17 years later and these bugs are big and they're just ugly and they're loud and they're blind and they're always stuck together and flying into everything because like I said they're blind but I just remember when they were about to come out it was on the news and that's like all they talked about and I was dreading the day that they were going to come out because I don't like bugs at all like I don't even like butterflies like no no so I was dreading the day they would come because we walked home from school and I was just wishing that somebody would pick us up but that never happened we walked home from school and we made it but it was just a struggle every day trying to avoid getting hit in the face with these blind bugs and all their unattractiveness but anyway back to my story so in the sixth grade for this quarter in class in or semester in classes I had gym class so in gym class our gym teacher at the time was a woman and she was pregnant and she was kind of just like a fill-in stand-in teacher while they were looking for a real gym teacher because she wasn't really a gym teacher like she actually taught math she was my math teacher in the seventh grade so yes anyway she was pregnant so we didn't do anything in gym we did a warm-up in the morning which consisted of jumping jacks push-ups and then somebody would play music and we would jog around the gym to the song after that we would either play dodgeball or do something random or go outside and do whatever we wanted so this day since it was nice weather she said let's go outside which I was opposed to because there were big bugs flying around everywhere outside why would I want to be outside why I don't know like I don't know what her process on that was but it was a bad decision so we went outside anyway the teacher got her fold up metal chair and sat next to the door so there was this group of girls who we just stood in the corner kind of next to the teacher because the boys decided we're gonna get bugs and chase everybody around with them. So we figured if we sit next to the teacher that they wouldn't mess with us because we were next to the teacher. But because boys are boys, they came over there anyway and eventually the teacher got tired of it and said, y'all need to get away from me doing that, which I understand she was pregnant, like she didn't want to be bothered. So we moved over some, but we were still like kind of close to the teacher. But the boys kept coming back with their bugs and at one point there were two guys that ran over into like our group of girls so we all scattered from our corner and like went our separate ways so when I was running I guess I was targeted by the boy his name is Ryan and I wouldn't say his name 
if like the story ended badly and like we was beefing or something but like it's fine um I guess I was targeted because I was running too slow or like he's just the one that focused on me I don't know but I was running and like you know when you're getting chased by somebody you're like looking back at them to see if they're catching up to you or if they're getting close so I was doing that and in the process of doing that I fell on my hands scraped my hands up and I was just sitting there trying to I guess get myself together to get back up but Ryan decided I'm gonna put this bug on you anyway so he did that which turned into me crying and I just remember looking up at him and he was laughing at me and he thought I was laughing until he realized that I wasn't and once he realized that I was actually crying he took the bug off of me and he did help me up and then I just remember my friends coming over and my sister and they were like helping me dust off my pants and stuff and then I'm pretty sure the teacher was like over us being outside and the boys chasing everybody after that we went back inside and just waited for gym class to be over and when we went back to my regular classroom to my teacher her name was Miss Masco one of my friends had told the teacher what happened she didn't say the names of the people she didn't say my name or the boys name but she was the teacher just said oh boys take longer to mature and she just went on this little splurge about how you know boys take longer to mature and pretty much and she was just trying to be nice and make the situation better and like I wasn't even mad about the situation I was like traumatized because I fell then I got a bug placed on me and then I cried I was over that day pretty much like I wasn't mad it was just like that happened to me today <laughs> but anyway I think that the whole story now is just funny like looking back at it I think it's hilarious it's just an embarrassing story from school I'm pretty sure everybody has one but it's also just funny because we were in the gifted and talented program so our classmates didn't change throughout the years so in the seventh and eighth grade we were still in the same class with each other in those two years in the seventh and eighth grade he apologized to me for putting that bug on me and making me cry and I just thought it was hilarious and I just would laugh and say it's fine because looking back at it it was just funny and we were friends like we walked home from school every day together and like Ryan is so nice and he's he's a really nice guy so yeah that's my story I feel like it was short and kind of bad storytelling but I'm gonna try to get better at these if you guys want to see some more story time videos then give this a thumbs up or tell me in the comments also share with me your embarrassing stories from school or just in general and we can talk about that because that would be fun I guess also don't forget to check out Anya's channel and her video which I will have linked right here and in the description box for you guys to check out because she's an awesome girl and I can't wait to hear her story Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, if you guys want to follow me on my social medias, I will have those linked down below too. Guys, I just made a Musical.ly like last week and like it's my new addiction. So if you guys have a Musical.ly, go add me and I'll have my username on the screen. It's Janae's Love, no underscores in it. So yeah, you can go check that out. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below or on the screen somewhere. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.